Yeah? Yeah. What's up, guys? I'm Tom Straker, and this is Tasty Business. And today, we're going to be making pasta alla pomodoro. So we're gonna be making a tagliatelle and then a really simple garlicky, spicy tomato sauce, all cooked outside. It's gonna be beautiful. Bam, bam, bam. First up, we need to make the pasta dough because that needs to rest before we can then roll it out and cut it into tagliatelle. So we're gonna make that first and then we're gonna get on and do the sauce after. We're using uh, zero zero flour, which is a fine milled um, soft wheat flour and that's, we're gonna mix that with egg yolks, predominantly egg yolks, nine egg yolks, in fact, and one whole egg, and a touch of olive oil. Going nine, nine egg yolks seems like a lot. Um, <laughs> each egg yolk's actually only 20 grams, and we're going for a really deep yellow pasta dough, so lots of eggs, uh, lots of egg yolks. If you use the white, then it would just be, you wouldn't get that depth of color, and also the white is much more liquid into it's 95 percent water basically so you get a, a bit of a spongier texture in the pasta the easiest way to break the eggs is tap them and you're going to break all the eggs into one bowl basically and then you're going to pick out pick out the yolks this is nine we're going to go in this bowl one whole egg just lift up and you pick up the yolk and you just close your hands like that and you take off all the white. Okay, let me just clean my hands in the outdoor sink. So add a little bit of olive oil to the yolk, it's probably about 40 mils. It's just gonna give us an extra bit of silkiness to the dough, a little bit more elasticity. Make a little well in the middle of the flour at the bottom of the bowl, and then just pour the yolks in. Just use a fork, you can just sort of start bringing the edges of your flour into the well. And then as that, the first a bit of flour gets, um, gets fully absorbed, hydrated, you then just carry on going around until you've got all of the, all of the flour in. And then we'll get a nice thick dough and we'll start to knead it on the work, on the bench. Oh, you're gonna have to get handsy with it. You can just start sort of pushing that flour into the dough. So we're looking for, we're making tagliatelle, so we're looking for like a reasonably Firm dough. Like you don't want it. if it's too wet, it won't hold. It'll uh, sort of stick together when you when you shape it. And we, you know, we want it to be smooth. So to, to knead it, you're sort of pulling it back on over your thumb and just pushing down, and you're just going to carry on doing that. So you want the dough to be really smooth when you finish kneading it, and then when it rests, it's obviously going to relax. Those these are ones are perfect browns. Clarence Court, especially good egg for if you want really deep yellow pasta. Now we've got a nice smooth dough. You can either, you can just wrap that up in some cling film or something and just put it, if you're not using it str uh, straight away, you put it in this, put it in the fridge. But because I'm using it now, I'm just gonna wrap it up and leave it at room temperature for half an hour. For me, I mean, you can have the crab tagliolinis and the, you know, the veal ragus and all that scenario, but a good tomato sauce and some fresh pasta, a bit of parmesan. If you can make the tomato sauce properly, you're laughing. For the tomato sauce, we're gonna go shallots, chili, garlic, and some good quality uh, Samizano tomatoes. Shallots first, top and tail. So when you're taking the tail off, you don't wanna take the whole root off, but you want to get 
but just enough so it's easy to peel. Then in half lengthways, take that outer layer of shallot off. Always have a bowl for your, um, for your waste rubbish. Because otherwise you've got skins lying around on your board everywhere. The shallot, we're just gonna go in really fine dice because we want it just to, the shallots to cook really slowly until they're really soft. We don't want any of that burnt onion sweated scenario. We want nice soft, soft shallots. We've sliced all of the shallots like that and now we're going to take them all into dice but it's just all about doing, you know, I did all of those slices and now I'm going to do all of the dices. It's just uh, one drop, one drop, one drop as we've said before. And then we're just gonna come around the edge of the root here. So we're literally taking everything. And that is basically all you're left with. That little bit of root there. So it doesn't matter if you've got a few bits which are slightly bigger than the rest because it's all gonna get cooked down nice and slow. Chilies. Just going to take the tops off and then cut them in half, and then we're going to deseed them. Just taking out the that sort of pith from the middle, and then all the seeds come out with it. Don't rub your eyes after doing this. The easiest way to get a nice dice is just to cut them in half. So we're going for a fine dice, similar size to the shallot. So now, once you've got all the all the chilies cut into strips, then you can go and do the the fine dice. The last thing that we're going to prep for the veg is just we'll get the garlics ready. Three cloves of garlic. I mean, garlic's always quite fiddly, but I find the easiest way is just get a small knife. So you just go, then you then you can really. And don't buy peeled garlic from the supermarket. It's fucking lazy. All right, so garlic, we're just going to grate that. It's just an easy way to make sure you've got consistent sized garlic rather than having to chop through it a load of times or squash it with your knife and salt. This is just bang on every time. Okay, so now we've got everything ready, ready to start cooking the uh, sauce down. A good amount of olive oil just to kick off. Like really good amount. We don't, lots of um, people when they're sweating down onions, they're doing it too fast, not enough oil, so the onion just burns on, on the pan. Okay, we just made sure this is Cooking nice and slowly. See here, we want the un we want those shallots to be properly coated in oil. We want them to be like almost like confit, so they get really, really soft, really sweet. If it's getting too hot, you just pull that coal to to one side. God, that's cooking nice and slow. You see how that's cooking nice and slow? Try not to burn my hair. The shallots are cooked down for 10 minutes and we're going to give them a good season. Good mold and salt, smash it in there. And we're going to go in with the red chili. Chili's just going to cook down for another couple of minutes before we go in with the garlic, okay? Garlic cooks very quickly, so I'm just going to let that cook down. And now we're going to go in with the garlic. This only wants to cook for about 30 seconds, slowly. You make sure you break it all up. This garlic burns and it's just gonna make the sauce bitter. So we just wanna cook it off, take away the rawness of the garlic. We'll just get those tomatoes, pour them out of the can. We just kinda of want the whole tomato, really. I'm just gonna take them, take, that so take them out of that sauce, just give them a quick squash into the, the onions and chili and garlic mixture. And then stir it up. Yeah, I mean, this sauce, once it's cooked, put it in sealed jars, it's lasting a good week in the fridge. So you can just move that onto the hotter part of the barbecue just so it comes up to the boil and then we'll move it over so it's cooking slowly for a couple of hours. We're going to add, season it now, so it's always good to taste it now. And I'm just going to see that it's got a nice bit, of, nice bit of kick to it, chili kick. And then we're going to put a bit of, good bit of salt in there and probably just one one tablespoon of sugar. 
It's just a thing of beauty, isn't it? Tomato sauce. We're gonna cook this down so it's gonna split. Hope like lots of the oils will start to split and then we're gonna add some uncooked olive oil into the tomatoes at the end just to finish it, make it super tasty. Once it's relaxed, it's become super hydrated and looking very orange. Touch to go through the machine. So this is, a, this is quite an important stage, rolling it out so it can actually fit through, because otherwise if we start trying to put that through, you're just gonna be there like. Mm. <laughs> not efficient, not efficient. So we're gonna start getting it through. Wide is setting, start putting it through, and then we we'll just start going down in number. And then we're gonna, what we're actually gonna do is, is laminate the dough. So I'm gonna fold it on top of each other. So I get, an, see at the moment how I've just rolled it out and it's like a tongue almost. I'm gonna fold it up, which not only strengthens the, strengthens the pasta, so therefore you get a love, really nice bite when you, when you're, um, when you, after you cook it, but also let's make it into a nice, it's gonna be into a nice square. We're gonna get the full length of the, of the tagliatelle when we cut it because it's not gonna be uneven at each end. So you can just sort of like square that out, like a per perfect, perfect sheet basically. Drop it through here. For tagliatelle, I reckon you wanna go down to the second thickest setting. And you can probably go through on that setting twice. You don't want it too thin for tagliatelle because it's nice thick, you know, the pasta's that thick. You don't want it to be stupid, silly, silly thin. Okay, and what we can do here, whilst we're rolling the rest out, is you can just give it a good bit of semolina on both sides. It's just gonna stop it sticking. And you can just sort of fold it up. Take the first one. Like, I think, it's like 12 inches, I think, yeah, you know, just like pick a length, like a knife length and cut it. Now you've got all the stuff cut, run it through there and you'll come around this side and just sort of lay, then we can lay out all of the pasta. This sheet is for one person. So we're gonna stack all this pasta up. It's about 150, 150 grams per portion of the fresh pasta. Bit. Now what you do with that, Nice bit of fine semolina on the tray, just to stop it sticking. And then you can give that really good, really good dusting. And you can just shake it. And then we'll just take it into a nice little, nice little nest. We're just taking the excess semolina off, but we're making sure it's not gonna stick. And then the nest, it's just neat, isn't it? <laughs> Finish off the sauce. I'm just going to hump a load of. Uh, I'm not going to hump anything actually. To finish off the sauce, I'm just going to chuck a load of olive oil in there. Um, good quality. So just keep retain that sort of freshness. It's going to split out the sauce. You get you're getting all the buttery notes. You're getting all of the, the spicy notes coming through the sauce, and it's also just giving it really nice, silky, smooth finish to for the mouth feel. And then when we toss that through the pasta, it's just going to emulsify. That's what you want. You want those like ready orange oils and mm. that's bang on. We got boiling water. Start. Season it generously. One nest of the tagliatelle. Just make sure you shake it around as it goes in. It's not sticking together. And that'll just cook for a, let's say a minute. A couple of uh, ladles of this sauce. Still got a little bite to it. And we're gonna finish it in there anyway, so it doesn't actually need. Shake a little bit of the pasta water in there. You guys tag the telly. 
and then we'll go in with a shake. Toss, toss, toss. You want to toss, toss, toss? Just so we make sure pasta is well coated. This is going to be soigné. It's like it's French for fucking like perfect. That's what they all say in the French restaurants. It's a plate warmer. <laughs> and that's going straight from there onto the plate. And that's actually the great thing about cooking outside as well. You can splash the tomato sauce everywhere. Build it up. Finish it off with that lovely sauce. And you could go in, touch more oil, and then finish with very nice aged Parmesan. It's 36 month aged. That's it, tagliatelle alla pomodoro. Oh, it looks good. It's hot. Oh, twizzle. Oh, it's spicy. It's got a nice kick from the chili. It's got good depth of flavor. It's sweet. You know, you can adjust the sweetness. We seasoned it early on, so that seasoning's really mellowed. You know, where we cook the, un the shallots slowly in olive oil, that's allowing the sweetness to come out naturally, and then we're, we're not burning the garlic. And we're just at every stage, it's like you're layering the flavor properly. It's simple, it's the most basic pasta we've probably ever eaten. We eat it when we're kids, pasta and tomato sauce. It's just elevated, this is a great time to eat, end of summer. Stuff's at its best, summery, it's fresh, it's tutto bene.